My dear brothers and sisters, very good morning to you in the name of the Lord God and Savior King Jesus Christ. And uh, welcome to Good Morning Jesus. Give us this day our daily bread. Today we take the word of God from the book of Psalms 103 verse 11 where the Bible says us, as the heaven is high above the earth, so is the love of God for those who fear Him. So, so much is the love of God for those who fear Him. So, you can imagine how high is the heaven above the earth. Now, if you go through the science books, it tells you about the earth, then, uh, then about the earth, the atmosphere, then you go into the space and then in the outer space, then the area where the moon, the planets, and then the scientists are also able to tell us that uh, the world has still not been able to make a real strong telescope that which can penetrate far beyond the uh, planets and the constellations and yet touch towards that heaven which God speaks about. I mean really they are able to go to a particular level and they can't go far beyond that. So that means that far is the heaven and uh, that's where God dwells, okay? So how far or how high is the heaven from the earth? So high and far away. And that much, so wide and so high is the love of God for the ones who love Him and for the ones who fear Him. And uh, the speciality of the ones who love us is that, you know, they correct us. For example, we have our elders, our parents, our near and dear ones who correct us in our day-to-day -day life. But if you see, the ones who really love us, they are the ones who correct us. They chastise us, they correct us, they scold us, they guide us, they inspire us, they encourage us, you know. And they give a lot of things that we like, we desire, we need. That's the speciality of these people. So God, who has got all things at His disposal, and uh, we who love Him, we who fear Him, He's got some tremendous love for you and for me. And so, if we can really call on to God and ask God for His intervention in our life, surely for sure, because of His love for us, He will do that what we need and He will give us that what we desire. All what we need to do is call upon the name of the Lord and there is God who will fulfill your heart's desires my heart desires and our hearts desires he will never let us down one simple reason why because god just loves us john 3 16 says god so loved the world that he gave his only son for those who would believe in him would not perish but have eternal life that's how well that's what we see uh, the lens season tells us all about it and the message of salvation tells us all about it. So today we keep that aside, but we just try to concentrate on God's love for us. And because He loves us, He will see that you and I are always happy and will live and remain in the love of God. And remaining in the love of God uh, is like having fulfillment and uh, commitment in our life. And all things will be made complete in our life just the way God wants it to be. Okay, can I pray for you? Okay, let's close our eyes. Father God in heaven, we praise and we thank you for this message of love that God has given. Father, we praise and thank you for this message of love that you've given us. As this heaven is high above the earth, so is your love for us. Yes, indeed, we just long for your love. And yes, Father, we believe and we trust that what we need, that what we want is already taken care by you just because you love us. And because you love us, you also send your son, Jesus Christ, so that we don't perish. Today we pray, Father, not only for us, pray for all other people in the world who are in need of help and they don't know about your love. Give them also the grace to understand you, to learn about you, to know more about you, and also come in the loving plan of yours and in the salvation plan of yours. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen, Amen, and Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, thank you very much for watching Good Morning Jesus. Until we meet again, goodbye and God bless you.